Hello everyone, Ashley here. So I'd uh, share with you uh, some sewing actually. A um, bit of a DIY. I, I have this coat I bought from Topshop and I've had it quite a while and uh, when I bought it this used to flap about the whole thing on the sleeve. Uh, so what I did was I uh, sewed a uh, button on uh, which in principle worked but to be honest these still flap about and the actual coat, uh, if I can show you, doesn't have belt hooks like this all the way round. So I've got this excess of uh, belt that flaps about. So it's a bit, well, I'm going to try and alter it all. So what I've done to start with, I uh, hope you can see everything. I've tried to set it up so you can see. And sorry if I'm sniffing. I don't know if my hay fever started in February, but... It's a bit sniff our ass here. Anyway, I've taken the button off. Um, I'm quite happy to show you the removal of the button on the other one. It was just, uh, I suddenly thought I'd uh, show you um, some of my sewings. I'm going to remove these glasses. I'm going to try and take everything near. So this is basically unpicking with an unpicker. You can get these just about anywhere in a supermarket and you gently pull this side whilst gently pulling that side it's it's keeping it semi-taut and I'd like to say I am not a seamstress I'm not someone that can sew I'm very much uh, self-taught over the years actually but I thought well if I can do it well let's try and share something with someone else so I want to literally turn all this excess material into some sort of uh, belt loop okay here we go so again I'm just gently Gently unpicking. I'm hoping you can see that. Let's take it at that angle in case you can't. So again, gently, just gently holding the material. Sorry, if I'm not too brilliant at it right here, it's because I'm desperately trying to show you, which means I can't see it too well. So let's just pull that out the way. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Now, normally, I would do this a lot, lot quicker. But there's no point to that going really quickly. Do you see how that's coming undone there? There's no point going really quickly because otherwise you don't get to see it and you don't get to learn how to unpick something. It's basically just like that. Now, we've got to a bit here where they've obviously reinforced the stitches. So we need to pull a bit tighter but without pulling the material and we're just going to hook that in and we're going to leverage it. That's it. Nice, nice and carefully. That's it. Just like that. And again, there we go. That's that unpicked. That's separated. I'm now going to come back. My hands might be moving about and I don't know about you guys, but my hands are just fried. Look, they're so sore from all this alcohol rubbing that I have to put on it. Now I'm just checking to see if there are uh, any more bits of cotton thread just to unpick as we don't want that uh, sitting on the uh, actual sleeve itself. So I am just checking. I, I, I feel quite happy with that. And a little tip, if there are bits that you, you can't get out, um, come back to it with a little pair of tweezers and you can just pluck that out, uh, you know, a, Simple, simple little thing to do. Right, so here we have the piece that was on the actual sleeve itself and attached. So I'm just going to pull the rest of these bits of cotton. There we go. Let's just see here. Okay. That's it. What I might do is just come back and uh, pull a few more pieces if I need to. But I'm not too worried because I'm, I'm not actually going to be using all of this. So, um, I'm, to be honest, I'm going to leave it purely because, uh, well, if I'm not using the whole material, I, I don't know if I might create some sort of design... Um, on the sleeve. I'm going to see when I try it on if I mind it being uh, this wide, but I won't know until I do that. So here we go. That's the first piece 
of my uh, belt loop I'm trying to make. And what I'm going to do is show you how, if I can find it, how to, there we go, unpick a button. As I say, this was a button I sewed on a couple of years ago, but the, the actual design of the coat isn't working out. So, again, let me just do this for you. And if I fumble about a bit, it's because I am trying to lean over to, to show you. Normally, it would be like this for me, but then you can't see, can you? So we're going to unpick a button. Unpick a button. Yes, we are. We can unpick a button. Okay, so here we go. We're going to leverage in. There we go. Simple as that. No, no yanking, pulling that I see people do. Then turn that over and we're just going to... There we go, look, simple as that. And then we just gently pull these bits of material out. That's it. There we go. Turn it over the other side where it's been knotted. And then as you can see, that's removed all of that. We've unpicked it. There we go. A little piece more cotton. Okay. I'm going to just come over to here, the other side. No, we're fine. And I'm just going to show you some more unpicking. Just because I think it would uh, just sort of tie in if I show you. Now, I'm hoping, let me just do that. And then I'm going to take a look at the iPad to see if that's in view. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Right, so again, I've got the first stitch. So what we're aiming for is we hold this piece. The piece we want to remove, and I find if I do this, I've got a lovely view without damaging any of the material because I can see all the way around. So I hold that nice and firm, insert the unpicker into the first stitch, and I gently do that. And then I do the same again. And then we just... I've just got to tilt that to me a little bit so I can see. There you go. So straight away, we've already got it on the way, haven't we? We've, we've made our life nice and easy. So then we go, let me just tilt that, sorry. Then we go like this. Nice and simple to unpick. And some of it starts to actually come away from itself without any struggle. There we go. That's it. Well, I'm going to finish this piece up here. Let's uh, get those pieces out. As I say, I'm not too worried if there are stitches remaining in the um, piece I'm removing because I'm not going to use it all. If I do end up using it, then I will, uh, of, of course, remove every single stitch. Okay, so the last bit. You always find that the first stitch or the last stitch or the last stitch or the first stitch, however way you want to look at it, will always be that much more secure because obviously they, they don't want a uh, piece of the material coming away because this is usually, I've found, the, the weakest point. So the weakest point usually has to be stronger. So let's just flick through there and there we go. That's it, done. Nice and unpicked, we've removed a button. We've removed a piece of material and considering we're not seamstresses here or tailors, we've done a nice little DIY of uh, removing the material. So I'm just going to come back here because I don't want this in the sleeve. So, uh, sorry, let's just turn that over for you there. Let's just take a gentle look around, see what's going on. I might need to go and get my tweezers. No, we're okay, we've managed to remove it. There we go. So that's all now, lovely and detached from the sleeve um, that I, I might decide uh, to uh, sew a piece of material around it. I, as I say, I think I'm gonna try it on and see if I want you know this uh, wide um, sort of cuff sleeve. Um, I'll, I'll see, I'm not sure yet. Anyway. Um, I hope that helps and uh, I decided not to show you my face today. You don't need to see my face today. It's, uh, it's not a good look. 
I am going to go away and take a look at uh, basically how I'm going to create the belt loops. I will possibly upload that as well, but um, if it doesn't follow on straight away, it's because I need to go away and take a look at what I'm going to do with this. I'm, I'm very tempted to basically just create the width of this, see how wide that is. And I may well just do this, insert that into the actual, um, uh, what I call the, the waistband. Because if I use uh, what I call the ends, I won't have to sew anything. So I, I may well come back and show you that, uh, just so as you can see me having a go at making a belt loop. Okay then, well, I hope you found unpicking a button and unpicking a seam helpful. And um, until the next time, okay? I'm going to lean forward and press the off button. I'm not off for a lie down because I'm going to create belt hoops. Okay, take care of yourselves now. Bye.